Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about parallelogram of forces. So, what happens when we have two forces acting upon the same object? So look at this scenario. We've got a dog here. Yes, that dog is a dog. It's being pulled with two different forces. So maybe one lead's pulling it one direction, another lead's pulling it opposite direction. Which way will the dog actually move in? Well, we can make an estimate that the dog will probably move somewhere along here. Yeah? But in physics, we've got to try and work that actual value out. The way we do it is by using the following. So we have to construct a parallelogram. So the first thing you do is you need to work out the scale of the diagram. So right now, this line here, the top line, this one is going to be 7.5 centimeters. So this one is 7.5 centimeters. And let's use the scale, one centimeter is one newton. Therefore, if that's 7.5 centimetres, it's basically 7.5 newtons, that line. The other scale, the one at the bottom, it's going to be 5.5. So the other one is going to be 5.5 newtons. Okay, so therefore, I still know that that's corresponding to 5.5 centimetres. So I've got to, first of all, construct a parallelogram. So basically, you shift one line across, you take a ruler out for this activity, so I know I've got to shift one line, so I'm going to shift the top line downwards. So it starts off from here, so let's go for 7.5. So I shift, exact, I shift it by the exact same amount. Uh, so 7.5 is going to be there. Wonderful. So I've shifted that. That is still 7.5. Top line has gone down. And then I'm going to shift the other line across and join these two up. Wonderful. As you can see, I've constructed a parallelogram. Now, how would I work out the resultant force? I simply connect both ends of the diagram. So over here, put the ruler down again, and I'm dropping the line in between them both. Take your time in doing this. I'm doing it a bit rushed because I'm on camera, but yeah, take your time in doing it. And then you measure the length of that line. So the length of that line right now is, let's go, mine is going to be 11.5 centimeters. So this is 11.5 centimeters. So my resultant force, it's 11.5 centimeters. But that's the length. I need to work out the actual value of the force. I know one centimeter is one newton. Therefore, it corresponds to 11.5 newtons. Wonderful. And that's how, oops, wrong, wrong button. Let's undo. Right. So the answer is 11.5 newtons. How do I do that once again? I shift one line down, shift one line across, then I drop the line in between them both, and then worked out the resultant. I have to use the scale to work out the value of the force though. So don't just write down the length, you actually have to write down the scale because it's a force. Okay, that's quite tough. Let's look at another example. Right, so scrolling down, test your understanding. So let's say you're asked to do the following, construct a parallelogram for this example. So we've got the following. We've got a cat now being pulled with two leads, so two different forces acting upon the same object. Let's work out um, the resultant force. Well, we've got to construct the parallelogram of forces. So I know it's 20 meters, 20 newtons, the bottom one, and we know the scale is 2 newtons, so that is going to be 10 centimeters. So I'm going to shift it up, so over here, by 10 centimeters, draw the same thing again. This length of line is going to be 10 centimeters. So there we go. That line itself, this is, oops, let's go there. This one is going to be 10 centimeters. The other line, I'm shifting it upwards as well by the same amount from there to there. Oops, this one's going to be shifting it across. Wonderful. So we've shifted both lines. So I've now constructed the parallelogram and then I've got to drop the line in between them. So dropping the line right in between them using a ruler. Take your time when you're doing it. There's no rush, especially in the exam. Don't rush yourself. Ah, oh, now see, clearly I'm rushing myself. So that's the thing. Oh, I've got to do mine again. Let's scribble that bit out. There we go. You know, even teachers make mistakes. Wonderful. So we now have the line in between them, which is the resultant force. And let's measure that value. That is going to be for me, it's going to be a hundred, it's going to be 15 centimeters. 
So that's 15 centimeters. So if I know the result is 15 centimeters, what is the value of the force? Use the scale. I know one centimeter is two newtons. So therefore, if I have 15 centimeters, how many newtons is that? It's going to be two times by that. It's going to be 30 newtons. So yes, my resultant force is going to correspond to 30 newtons. And that's my answer. And that's how I do the parallelogram of forces. Simple stuff. Shift one line across, shift one line up, connect it, use the scale to work out the magnitude. Easy stuff. Right, scrolling down. Let's go for the summary for today's lesson. Summary. When combining two forces, we can construct a parallelogram of forces to work out the resultant force. And that's it. We've done it twice a day. Simply shift one line across, one line down, drop a line between both ends, and then use the scale to work out the answer. And that's it, guys. I shall see you next time for more Sir Razzle Dazzle Physics. Goodbye.